Exercise three. For exercise three, we begin by, first of all, going to window, make sure you turn on your snaps, your concepts explorer, and your object info. Then go to work plane and turn on show grid. I can zoom up there, find your center point circle, find the origin and click out a circle and make the circle approximately uh, a diameter of 1.2. Then draw another circle above it. Make sure you infer to the center of the last circle, a little bit bigger. And this circle is going to be 1.5 and it's going to be located 0.75 inches above the first circle and hit enter. Now go to the, set, the single line tool on the left and glide up right about here at the top left of the circle. Hold down the left mouse button while you're on it and it will automatically snap to tangency. Now you can drag this down. I'm holding the left mouse button as I do this. Glide up along this edge until you glide up to the left here and you find tangent. Then you can release it. Do the same on this side. About 45 degrees off to the top right of the circle. Drag off the, the line and connect it to this and glide it up until you see tangent on both. Now we need to trim that out. So go to the trim tool over here, select it, hold shift and select both lines so that they highlight either in red or green like you see here. Now you could go ahead and click on what you don't want to trim it. Hit the select tool when you're done. Now over here click on this little arrow at the bottom right and find extrude solid. Make sure that the extrude solid is set to mid-plane. It's going to have a height of 0.75 for the distance, and it needs one, negative 7 degrees of draft. And then click and drag a fence around the entire geometry with the left mouse button, and there it is. The next thing we want to do is we want to create an offset on this surface. So we're actually going to sketch on this surface, and to do that, we could go ahead and we could just go right over here and we find offset curve so in the trim tools. Select the curve to offset by distance. Uh, first of all, for the offset, let's set it to 1 point, 0.125 and hold shift. Uh, actually, before we do this, let me hit escape here. Uh, we need to actually offset the plane first. I just realized our plane is in the center. We want to offset it to the top of this face. So let's go to work plane, select object, select this top base, and locate the bottom center right here and click. And that will offset our work plane now. Now we could go ahead and select the offset, type in 0.125, hold shift as you select all the edges. and then click on the inside of the face, not the outside. So the 0.125 will be applied inside to it. And there it is. Now go over here to where the extrude was and find cut out solid. Select that. The distance here needs to be set to 0.125. And then select the solid you want to cut out, which is the head. You can click on the solid anywhere. And it says select the closed curves for the polygon cutting. So we're going to go ahead and select these curves, but hold the shift key and be very careful to make sure you select the line, the arc, this line, and this arc. Release it and it looks like it goes all the way through. Just click up here where it says 0.125 and hit enter and it should update it properly. Now we're going to go ahead and drop some whole, um, pockets in here. So we'll go to the circle tool again and find the center click and drag one circle out here, type in one inch for that one, and then find one of one center over here and drag it out and this is going to be 0.75. Now we'll use the trim tool again, so click over here, find trim, select this circle, and then select this intersection to trim it away. To reproduce that on the opposite side, just make sure your pointer's off the part, floating in space here. Right click and deselect. And now select the arc 
and then click on this intersection here to trim to. Now we could go ahead and use our extrude cutout solid again. So click on that. The distance is going to be 0.6. We don't want any draft, so set it to 0. And I'll select the body. And I'll hold shift and select both curves, the, both arcs. Again, it will go through. Make sure you click up here where it said distance. Hit enter, and it will update. Now you could click on the select icon right here to get out of that tool. The next thing we're going to do, we don't need to offset the plane for, but we're going to put some through holes down here. And instead of uh, using the regular hole, we want to use the hole wizard or the hole feature here. So we click on it. Now there are several options for the hole feature. If you hit the little arrow that you see here, anytime you see a little arrow, that means there's additional options. We have simple hole, we have counter bore, or counter sink. Let's go with simple hole. Set the hole diameter to 0.375 select the face you want to drop it on first and then locate it and you could rotate this until you see the center for the first one click on this face again and find the center for the second one and those are the centers of these arcs it automatically snaps to them now we might realize that uh, this isn't this cut wasn't deep enough so let's go ahead and cut that a little bit deeper everything here is editable or most things are so we could go ahead and um, click over here on features on, this, on the Concept Explorer, click on the body and you'll see part. Hit the little plus symbol to the left of that and then find the second cutout. And you see it highlight the face. Now over down below, as long as it's highlighted and selected, we could select from the data option here and we see the distance is set to 6. Let's set it to 0.75. Make sure you don't have two decimal places or two dec decimals there and hit apply. And you'll automatically see it will update it. Go ahead and hit your select tool or escape on your keyboard. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to create the transition shaft. So we're going to go to work plane and turn the work plane back to the front. And then we're going to offset it. So we'll go to work, work plane and offset. Set it to 4 and hit enter. If you want the opposite direction, you'd hit put a negative 4. And now we could go to work plane and actually let's uh, show work plane it kind of gives us an origin uh, line to the top um, what we could do now is we could let's go to v uh, view front and zoom up there and we actually want to be centered right there so we're going to take the circle tool find that center there drag it out make sure it's set to 0 0.5 half inch okay and unfortunately it got on the wrong surface so we could go to edit and undo to get rid of that. We actually want to sketch on this plane. So make sure that work plane is turned on. Now let's do that again. Go back to view, front, click and drag this out, set it to 0.5. And now you can see we're floating out there in space on our plane. Now we're going to use the protrude tool. So hit this little arrow where the cutout was and you'll find protrude, solid. And for protrusion, what you have to do, we could say um, we want to go up to the body, and that's what we want in this case. So select up to body, select the object for protrusion. Let's turn off the work plane snap. This is important because uh, we don't want to snap to it because we have to give it a vector. And now it says select close curve. We select the circle, that's what we want to make. And then select the center point because it says specify two points for the protrusion director direction. So this is a vector we have to generate. So we click on the center and if we follow this along until we see this along Z, click again and bingo, we have it. Okay, let's reset our work plane. Let's go work plane top. Uh, we could actually go work plane global actually and it resets us completely back to the start where we were before and that's actually what we want to do here. Now we could go to view, top, zoom out a little bit, and we have to make the handle. Now for the handle, you could click over here, and you'll see that there's a rectangle tool. Now there's smart polygon or a single line. We'll do a smart polygon here. And just go ahead and you could click, you don't even have to draw it on where you want it. Just click over here somewhere. And then we'll put in the 
dimensions. We want this to be one inch in width. The height is going to be minus four inches. Okay. And then we could go ahead and hit the green check mark. Now go ahead and click on that. And oh, it didn't take actually. Um, let's set that one more time. One inch before and hit enter. There we go. Now it's set to the proper dimensions. Now what we want to do is we want to find the midpoint here. When you select it and it turns green, find the midpoint, drag it over here. And technically you could snap it in into a quadrant or along Y. And then you can see the X positioning is, since it's one inch long, it's centered at negative 0.5. Um, here actually for the, uh, the Y, we're at 3, 3.75 we want to make that just 3.75 even and hit enter so it's into the part a little bit because we're going to add draft while we extrude well, and unfortunately it actually grabbed it's not on the plane um, so in this case we want to make sure we click on work plane it's a good idea to make sure you know when to turn that on or off and we could again find along Z let's actually move it over here and we'll go back to view top and move it back. Find the midpoint and then we should be able to find the intersection there. And let's set it to grid actually. It keeps snapping to the top there. That's okay. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Go to the rectangle polygon. Draw out a polygon over to the right. Make sure it's set to minus four for the height and one inch width and hit enter. Now go to the select tool. As long as your work plane and grid are turned on, you should be able to find and click on the actual rectangle, find the midpoint at the top, and just drag it down here. And you'll align along Y, and it should be dug in just one square, so 0.25. So the, uh, the reading on Y should be minus 3.75, and you could type it in manually as well if you wanted, and the X should be minus 0.5. Now we could go ahead and we could extrude that. So we go to over here, we'll go ahead and go to extrude, solid, mid plane, minus 7, and the distance will be 0.75. Okay, unfortunately it's select, I selected the wrong entity, so I'm going to have to hit un, undo. That's because there's a sketch there. So let's try it one more time. Make sure it's 0.75. Select the rectangle. And now, because we extruded that, it's a separate entity from the actual rest of the model when we use this tool. So we have to do what they call Boolean or Add Solid. So find the Add Solid tool, select the ratchet, then select the handle and now they're one complete solid. Finally to finish this off we just need to go ahead and add some fillets. To add the fillets we go to the fillet tool over here and we're going to add some 0.1 inch radius fillets. So we'll go ahead and we'll select this edge here, this one right here at the bottom we could add it onto these edges here. And then go ahead and select this face to add fillets on both ends, as well as on this edge here and here as well, and the back face. And that should finish this exercise.